have you guys ever worked so hard for something, right? And then you reach that goal or you get what it is that you wanted. And then instead of being content and patting yourself on the back, you then start to question it. Like you question, well, how did I get that? Or do I even deserve it? Or is this a fluke? have imposter syndrome it doesn't go away that feeling that you shouldn't take me that seriously what do I know I shared that with you because we all have doubts in our abilities about our power and what that power is now you guys while those could very much be my words because I feel the same way and share my struggles for the same exact reason that's actually a quote from our former first lady Michelle Obama yes even she struggles with imposter syndrome. Hey y'all, just wanted to come in and say hello and open up the video. Today is a Sunday. I thought it would be a really nice time to kind of vlog with you guys, connect with you guys. One thing I've been seeing a lot in the comments lately, especially from a lot of you newcomers, is you guys appreciate my honesty and transparency in my journey, um, whether that be law school or my current you know, legal journey as a lawyer. And so I thought it would be cool to kind of connect with you guys in a you know more relaxed space and talk to you guys about different aspects of my journey that you know either I struggled with or that were good for me or are working for me and just kind of connect with you guys a little bit more in sort of a vlog setting so I thought I would spend this chill Sunday with you guys so I'm about to head to the grocery store that's why I got my purse with me you guys already know if you saw my meal planning routine if you've watched any of my vlogs I go grocery shopping usually on Saturday or Sunday for my family and you know load up on groceries for the week we do a lot of cooking at home and so yeah I'm about to head to the grocery store if you guys haven't already check out my meal planning routine so you guys can see how i'm able to cook dinner most nights even though i have a busy demanding career with this lawyer life of mine um so yeah let's go ahead and head to the grocery store let's go oh my gosh it's such a beautiful day um it's like it's i think 80 degrees here which is lovely um i'm a little warm though but I'd much rather have it this way than the other way. But y'all look, I broke my nail. I literally got my nails done just two days ago. And a part of me knows that I should just go ahead and get it fixed instead of waiting till like, you know, the work week or something starts. But I just do not feel like going to the nail salon. Like, I love a good pedicure. I even like getting my nails done and stuff like that. And all the, you know, all the spa I like type stuff. But I don't like being in the nail salon. But the weight and all that stuff, like, it's just a hassle. Um, just especially with like, you know, for me, that's just another thing I have to check off the schedule. And so, like, I'm so mad that my nail broke because, like, it's like I, I have to get it fixed. And it's on my ring finger, so I can't just be walking around with the nail like that. But I don't know. I still don't think I'm gonna do it today. I might do it tomorrow um, after work or yeah maybe do it tomorrow after my workout or before my workout
the grocery store. I just put on a movie on Netflix. Um, I can't remember what it's called. Oh, it's called Deadly Illusions. It's with um, Charlotte from Sex and the City. I can't remember her real name, but it looks pretty interesting. So I'm just going to watch the movie kind of while I'm putting away the groceries. I'm going to tidy up the house a little bit and um, just kind of get ready for tomorrow. It's Sunday, so i got to prep for the work week. I also plan to do a little wedding planning um today so, so i'm kind of just chilling so i'll probably do that until a little bit later till it's time to cook dinner um we're gonna do a seafood boil tonight so that'll be fun if you guys have been watching my channel for a while you guys know i love seafood boils and i've kind of mastered it or what works for our family i know everyone loves them um so yeah it's been a pretty decent day so far um one thing that happened at the grocery store was i like tipped the bagger guy i don't always but i have if i have cash i always tip them just because it's a nice thing to do and he was so surprised and happy i'm like um, is that not normal so let me know in the comments below how many of you guys tip your baggers when you go to the grocery store but yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and finish putting these groceries away go ahead and get into the rest of my sunday and like i said i do kind of want to talk to you guys a little bit about you know things that I've struggled with today's topic I think I'm going to talk a little bit about imposter syndrome specifically feeling like I lucked up um, in my career so yeah I did want to touch on that a little bit later let me just go ahead and get my you know house duties out of the way and kind of get into you know the early evening and I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit What's up y'all? So I finally got some time to come sit down and kind of talk to you guys about kind of the theme of this video. So it's Sunday so I've just been kind of getting the household ready for the work week and stuff like that. But anyways I think I mentioned this before but I've been thinking about just some comments that I've been getting uh, from a lot of you guys about just my transparency and relatability and that is intentional on my part like especially when it comes to like my struggles. I'm doing this because some of the things that I struggled with, I feel like if I had had somebody to talk to or who had went through this or at least could watch a YouTube video, because obviously I can't talk to each and every one of you, but even to be able to relate to, to someone, I think it would have helped my journey a little bit more. So, you know, these past few weeks I have been really busy at work and just... Um, kind of been reflecting on, you know, where I am, the growth, the path I want to go on and just all of those things, right? And, you know, I'd had, you know, some transactions closed and some exchanges with people and, you know, I had some really great weeks where I did, you know, so many things right, but I had some errors and markups and things like that where I did things wrong. And I kind of kicked myself for it because, you know, it's kind of like, even with YouTube, right? You can have, you you see the larger creators, right? And they can have a billion positive comments, but that one negative comment is what they give their energy to usually what they focus on and what kind of affects them, right? And it's the same way with like work or anything that you're working on. You can get all the praise, you can, you know, get great comments and things like that. And you know, you're like, oh, thank you. But when you get any sort of criticism or markup or anything like that, it can really affect you and you start to doubt yourself. And it's funny though, because I'm finding that, you know, I'm to the point where I welcome criticism. And let me say, let me rephrase that. You know, it still kind of stings a little bit, but I welcome learning opportunities, okay? A lot of times when people give you constructive criticism, they're doing it so they can point out things to help you improve. Um, not saying that that can't be tough to hear, but I welcome those things. So I've just been kind of noticing that change a little bit. And so it caused me to reflect on, you know, why it, what is the reason for, you know, the kind of shift in mindset about it. I've also realized that my confidence level has raised a lot in my ability to do the things that I do. Um, and that's normal, right? It comes with time and experience. Obviously, when you're starting your first 
year, first day, first month, first week, whatever, doing something, your confidence level is going to be a little bit different from when you've been working towards things for a while. And so I realized that that willingness and eagerness to kind of just refine and continue to improve because you know you're confident with certain things but you also know in order to be even better to be even more confident you have to continue to learn so yeah that's something i was thinking about and then it just also just flashed me back to my days as an intern my days as a young associate my days as an associate not even a year or two ago and just how much different my mindset is and how much just how much different my confidence level is and that's not to say that i don't mess up but my confidence has just gotten a lot better. And I just, you know, I just look back on my whole career, my whole law school experience, and just my experience really outside of work and just the amount of doubt I used to have. Um, have you guys ever worked so hard for something, right? And then you reach that goal or you get what it is that you wanted. And then instead of being content and patting yourself on the back, you then start to question it. Like you question, well, how did I get that? Or do I even deserve it? Or is this a fluke? Like, did I luck up instead of really just acknowledging like, okay, you worked for something. You set that goal, you worked for it, and now you attained it. It's like, you just can't just accept the fact that, you know, when you put the work in, this is the results. And you're very capable when you put your mind to do something, you're very capable of it. I used to joke with one of my friends and like, you know, be like, oh my God, like, you know, what are they doing trusting me with this type of, you know, responsibility and things like that and really doubting myself. And um, it's called imposter syndrome, which I did a whole video about and I kind of just kind of talked about what it is, how to overcome it, and my own experience with it, which it still comes and goes, it ebbs and flows. It's imposter syndrome, but in just like the most simplest form of saying it, it's like feeling like you lucked up. Like that's the best way I can describe it is feeling like you lucked up. I mean, I remember walking into the law firm, you know, as a summer associate, like, oh my God, like how did I get here? How am I among the ranks of some of the most smartest attorneys, some of the most successful attorneys? How did I get here? And really feeling like I lucked up and not acknowledging like, girl, you put that work in to get here just like they did, you know? Like it's crazy and you can literally pick yourself out a part of the crowd and really feel like you lucked up. And that didn't stop when I started at the law firm. Like, you know, it's just the feeling of feeling like you lucked up. And that's not the only aspect I feel that way in my life. I actually have felt that way about a lot of things in my life where I'm like, oh my God, I just I just lucked up. And, and just chalking it up to luck instead of just thinking like, well, you work for this or, you know, you're a good person or these are things that are reciprocated to you because this is what you give. And so, um, so that's something that, you know, I continuously work on and I encourage you all, if you guys feel this way sometimes too, is just to really sit back and acknowledge, you know, the hard work. And I think another thing that comes along with that is the whole feeling like you lucked up thing is a lot of us have a sense of humility, right? We're very humble. Um, and I don't think that's something that we should lose, right? I think humility, I think being humble is a great thing. I think everyone should be humble and I do think that you should be grateful and thankful. However, don't do it to the point to your detriment when you're now doubting yourself because it's just not a good place to be in. Imagine working so hard for something and then you get there and then instead of enjoying that and thriving in it, now you're just questioning yourself and driving yourself crazy. You know, it's 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 insanity. So yeah, I don't want this to be some long drawn out video, but I did kind of want to drop that food for thought on you guys. And if anybody is struggling with, you know, feeling like you lucked up or imposter syndrome, you guys just take a step back and really think about how you got what you got or how you got to where you got and i think you'll find that you didn't look up i think that you'll find that it's the result of your efforts intentions and work and yeah if you guys kind of want me to touch on certain topics let me know i'm thinking about doing more of these kind of little chit chat so we can connect a little bit more but in vlog style so it's a little bit more entertaining so yeah i hope that hit home for somebody because you guys imposter syndrome feeling like you lucked up that is so freaking real Baby, you could keep me going Cause you've been everywhere Let me take up all the love you're showing I need it more than air And you know that I've been suffocating You could be the one to help 
But my issues are nauseating I don't wanna bring you down I just wanna be free from the free Feel love for the first time I just wanna love something about me See something to open my eyes Don't wanna be the only one with the house key Have something I'm proud of I wish we were living in my dreams Cause in another world you'll come with me And we'd be out of sight, out of mind Drop your windows down with your head in mine Out of sight, out of mind Out of sight, out of mind Baby, you could keep me happy, but you've been on the road Oh, I've never needed love so badly, I'm feeling so alone And you know that I've been often dreaming of having you around But my life is so complicated, I don't wanna bring you down 